looking out 50 years from now, what wins? Virtual reality, augmented reality, or physical reality? What wins? Meaning like mm. what's, uh, yeah. what do people of that have financial resources enjoy spending most of their time in? Mm -hmm. I've always been a fan of, 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 of AR and it's kind of an easy answer because if, you've, if you're wearing an AR device, you put a bag over your head, it becomes a VR device. You know, it just, it, if you block out the, what's really there, then all you're seeing is, is, is a VR. But you are with AR constrained to, to kind of operate in something that's similar to physical reality. Yeah. With VR, you can go into fantastical worlds. True, true. So there are, still issues in in the, those fantastical worlds with um with uh, motion sickness right so um if if your uh body is experiencing acceleration your inner ear um that that's differs from what your eye thinks it's seeing then you'll get sick uh, unless you're a very unusual person so it doesn't mean you can't do it it just it's a, a constraint that VR designers have to uh, to learn to work with. So do you think it's possible that in the future we are living mostly in a virtual reality world? Like we become more and more detached from physical reality. For entertainment, maybe for certain applications. Um, I'm personally more, uh, I mean, the, we have to make a distinction between what I would personally find interesting and, you know, what might win in, in the market. So maybe some people, maybe lots of people would like to spend a huge amount of time in, in VR. Um, I'm personally more interested in um, enhancing the experience that I have of the, the physical world, because the physical world's pretty cool, right? You know, there's a lot, lot to be said for, uh, for moving around in the real world.